everyone and welcome to Fitness Actually. My name is Shume and I'm a physiotherapist based here in Melbourne, Australia. So today's senior citizens exercise class involves no equipment, nothing. All you pretty much need is a chair to help with your balance. This exercise is mostly for uh, adults who have medium to high intensity levels but if you would like to try it, just grab a chair, you can still do it sitting down. All right, I look forward to seeing you in our class. All right, let's start. We're going to start up with the warm up first. Now remember, your chair is only for balance, not for you to put your whole weight on it because it will tip and you might fall over, so be careful. Um, if you're not sure and you need more support on it through your hands, Go find a sturdy table or a bench or a kitchen bench so that you can it can fully support you. Okay? Right now, warming up our ankles first. Feet up, holding on. Do big circles. Clockwise. Ten times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anti-clockwise. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you can't keep up, that's okay. It's only the warm up. And the other foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now, you can use two hands or one hand. Oh, now you need one hand, silly me. <laughs> All right, now, grab onto your ankle and pull your ankle, your foot, to your bum. Now, make sure you're not doing this because that's what most people do, cheat. <laughs> you want to pull it to your bum, but also keep your knees back as far as you can and you're standing up tall. So nothing like that, or like that, you're pulling it back and body straight, okay? You're supposed to feel your quads at the front stretch, all right? Now, other leg, grab and pull, up nice and tall, and letting go, good, okay, holding on. Opposite side, I want you to see if you can grab your knee or under your knee, so like that, and just pull it up towards your chest, just to loosen up that hip. Okay, pull, good. And now the other side, um, go, I might turn around, you would, but I don't want to show you my bum. <laughs> Alright, pull. You can face that way as well. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Okay, that's good. That's a pretty easy warm up, wasn't it? Okay, now we're going to start with our first exercise, which is marching on the spot or high knees. All right, so it's really easy. It's pretty much self-explanatory. So you're going to hold on. Now remember, you can either do it this way or this way with one hand. But make sure you're standing straight and you're symmetrical, okay? Right, now, you're going to do that, high knees, usually you want it about 90 degrees. So, if I turn to the side, you want your knee lifting at least 90 degrees, or as high as you can. Make sure you don't cheat and just end up doing that, or like that, and it seems like it's high, but you're not doing it right. Everything else stays straight. It's just your knees going up that way. All right? So, one leg first. Pick any leg. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you remember which one. Ready? We're going up and go. One, two, up high. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, good. Now, other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doing well. Nine, up high, ten, good. All right, not bad. We're 
going to do three sets of those. So take a quick rest, quick break, drink a little bit of water if you need to. All right, now we're going to do the second set. And I'm facing this way so you know exactly what I'm doing. Okay? Now, feet apart, shoulder width. And I'm holding on. Let's go back to our original leg and do 10 of those. All right? Good. One, so body straight. Make sure you don't lean to the side and do that. Sorry, let's start again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Some of you might feel the muscle on the other leg working. It's because you're trying to keep yourself balanced and holding your whole body weight up while you're lifting this thing. So it's okay if you feel the other side working. All right, good. All right, other side, ready, go. One, two, three, as high as you can. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Well done. We have one more set to go and then we have a quick break. Original leg, ready? And go. One, two, keep it up. Almost there, three. Last set. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay. Now, other leg. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can do it. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Well done. Now, have a quick rest. Grab a drink of water, I am. And I'll be right back. Two seconds. Okay. And I'm back. All right. Now, next one, we're going to do side kicks. So, with this, remember, keeping your body straight, you're going to point your toes forwards and the ankle bone here, your malleolus, kicks outwards. Okay? So, make sure you're going this way. So, toes pointing forwards and your ankle pointing up make sure it doesn't turn because that's cheating <laughs> all right okay the other important thing to remember is you don't tilt your body because that is definitely cheating <laughs> okay so let's do it right we're going that way ready go one two three four Five, doing well. Six, feel the burn. Seven, in the glutes. Eight, nine, ten. Good, well done. I forgot to mention the third most popular cheats of all time. Uh, this swing, where people go back, like go cross-legged. It's harder and it works more if you just tap back and go up, slowly tap back and go up. All right, we're doing the other leg now. Now, make sure you can use two hands like that and do it sideways. I'm just doing it this way so that you can see me. Okay? All right. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Well done. First set down. Second set now. Ready? Original leg. And go. One, two. Make sure your toes are pointing forwards. Don't let it turn up. Five, six, seven. Oh, I'm feeling the other side burn now. Nine, ten. Good. I didn't warn you. You can't feel both sides, so don't be alarmed. All right. 
other leg. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doing well. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Well done. Second set down. Now the third set. Last one. Ready? Kicking outwards. And go. One, two. Toes pointing forwards. Don't cheat. Five, six. Slowly. Seven, eight. Nice and controlled. Nine, ten. Good. Other leg now. Ready? Go. One, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good job. Well done. We have our third set to go, and then we're done with the side kicks. All right. Ready? Last one. And go. One, two, three. You can do it. Four. Feel the burn. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Now, remember, you're not meant to feel pain anywhere. If it's getting sore, just do what you can. Just even a little bit is better than nothing. You don't have to go so high. And even at five, Times is better than no. None. Sorry, no time. None. <laughs> Alright, last leg and go. One, two, three. Feel the burn, both sides. Five, six. Doing well. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, everyone. Good job. It's okay, I feel a bit of aching here, which is good. That means I'm gonna get a nice hit. <laughs> okay, good. Now, we're going to do back kicks now. So, this is very important because people cheat the most with this one, I swear. So, idea is, you're standing up nice and tall, yeah? Keep your legs straight and you're kicking back. So, it might not seem like a lot, but you're doing it right and you're feeling your bum working. Make sure, just like the other one, you're not turning your foot, your toes are still pointing forwards, your body is pointing forwards, shoulders forwards, hips forwards, everything is straight. And you're doing that. Make sure your knees are straight because a lot of people just end up doing that. You're not actually doing anything. <laughs> okay? Now, don't do that. That is the ultimate cheat. <laughs> um, and I can catch you. Not really. I can't. But all right, ready to go? All right, ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Not bad. Now make sure you don't swing the whole way through because you're actually just using momentum to help you and you're not using your muscles to work okay all right other leg and go one two three squeeze your bum four five six seven eight nine and ten good well done one set down, two sets to go. All right, second set. Ready? Go. One, two, doing well. Three, four, feel the bum squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. All right, swap legs. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can do it. And ten. Well done. 
Good. Second set down. Third set to go. Uh, just loosening it up a bit. Okay. Third set. You can do it. Ready? <sighs> okay, make sure you breathe. Don't hold your breath and turn blue. Okay. Ready? Standing up nice and tall. And go. One, two, three. Feel your bum squeeze. Four, five, six, seven. Body facing straight. Nine, ten. Good. Now make sure your shoulders are facing forwards. Hips are facing the same direction. Don't twist. Last leg, ready, go, one, two, three, keep it up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done everyone, doing so well, good, okay. Now we have about Three to four more exercises to go. Almost there. Okay, good. Now we're going to do knee flexion, so knee bending. So everything else is straight, even your thighs, and you're just bringing your heel to your bum, just like our stretches. All right, I'll just show you. So you can hold on, your heel tries to kick your bum, and slowly coming back down. So you're working your hamstrings, okay? All right, ready? And go. One, two, three. Make sure you don't go up, that's cheating. Four, five, six, seven. Keep the bum. Eight, nine, ten. Good. It's okay if you don't kick your bum. Like, I can't kick my bum. You're aiming for your bum. <laughs> Good. Okay, now. Other leg, ready, and go. One, two, slowly, three, four, five, doing well, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, well done. Now remember, if you need a break, you can always press pause, go have a drink, have a break, and then come back and just play. All right, good. One set down, second set to go. Ready, and again, nice and tall, body straight, hips straight. Go, one, two, three, four, doing well, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. We're not too bad. All right, we're halfway there, technically. <laughs> okay, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep this knee straight. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Good job. Well done. Okay, last set. If you need a break, have a break. If you need some water, grab some water. I don't want you to dehydrate. Okay, last set. Ready? Okay. Okay, okay. This leg, original leg, and go. One. Keep the other leg straight. Two. Nice and tall. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, come on, ten. Good job. You should feel your hamstring starting to work. Other leg. And go. Kick. One. You can do it. Two, three, four, five. You can do it. Six. Keep kicking. Seven, last one, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, I, I can actually feel my hamstring working. <laughs> I'm not <even> lying. <laughs> Good. All right. Now, I'm sure you've heard of this, but 
we are going to do heel raises now okay so you're going to stand up nice and tall feet apart is the easy version feet together is the harder version so you're going to raise your heels as high as you can and you're aiming for the ceiling now make sure you're not rocking forwards like this that's cheating you're going up okay heels going as high as you can just like this all right ready you're going to do it we're going to do i would say 15 because it's usually easier but let's stick to 10 because we've done 10 all right Head it in. Ready, go. One, two, three, doing well. Four, up high. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Not bad. Feel like you're in an elevator and you're reaching for the sky. Okay, second set. If you think you can do more, feel free to do more. If you think this is still way too easy, you can always hold on, try one leg, but make sure your knees are straight. A lot of people end up doing this and you're actually cheating. If you realize you did that for the last set, you can pause, do it again, and then do the second set with me. All right, ready? Knees straight, standing tall, going up, one, two, three, four, five, six, doing well, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Second set's over. We're going to do the last set now. All right, are you with me? Okay. Oh, hold on. I'm getting um, ahead of myself. I'm doing feet together because I find it easy. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. Good. Well done. Okay. We have one more exercise to go. And this is the hardest bit but it's the most rewarding. All right. Now, this is called the sit to stand. <laughs> so, the reason why this is the hardest is because I generally see my, most of my patients struggle to do this when they do it right, okay? So, important thing to remember is you want to sit sort of halfway forwards, um, away from the back of the chair, and then your feet are shoulder width apart, okay? Bring your feet back a bit, so make sure they're not too far forwards. I'll do it again sideways so you can see, but just watch and listen before you start. Feet apart, knees apart, so that they're in line with your feet, okay? All right, if it's too hard, make sure you get a chair that has armrests so you can grab on and push off from the armrest. If you think that's easy, hands across your chest and you're standing up this way. Try not to put your hands in front because you kind of use your hands to swing yourself forward, so it's cheating. But if this is too hard, but that's too easy, you can put your hands on your knees to give you a bit of a boost, okay? All right, now, you want your body to rock forwards and up, so diagonally. You don't want to rock forward so you fall over, but you don't want to go up this way that you can't even stand, okay? I'll try it, I'll do it again. Sideways so you can see me. I'll just swap this way. Okay. I'll explain one more time. So, back rest. We're going to come halfway up. Feet apart. 
knees apart, feet back as far as you can, hands across your chest or pushing off from the chair and you're going forwards and up, so that way, okay? Not this way, not that way, because you will struggle to stand up, okay? Rocking forward, up, like that, okay? Good. Now, that's getting off the chair, that's standing up. Sitting down is a whole different story. When you sit, your bum has to go back as far as you can, and you want to go down slowly, as far as you can before you sit down. I don't want you plonking. <laughs> it will hurt your back. You want to control yourself slowly. Okay? I hope that's clear. If you don't remember what I just said, rewind and play it again. <laughs> It's important to get this right because then you get stronger, definitely. All right, we're going to do three sets of these. All right, ready? I'm going to do with my hands across my chest, my shoulders, um, feet apart, knees apart, and going up. One, and slowly, slow, 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 slow and down. And again, two, slow, 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 good. And again, three, bum back, going down slow, nice and controlled. You don't want to squish that pee on the chair. We just squashed it. <laughs> and again, four, slow, slow, slow. Good. And five. Going down slowly, slowly, slowly. And six. Back, 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 back. Good job. And seven. Slowly, slowly, sitting down. Good. Eight. Slowly sitting down, good. Nine, good. Slowly sitting down. And ten. Slowly sitting down, nice and graceful. Good job. I hope that wasn't too hard. If it is, you can put your hands on your knees and give yourself a bit of a boost. Or you can push up from the chair. All right, so easiest, medium, hard. All right, good. Okay, I'm going to do the second set now, facing forwards, so you can see my hips and knees. All right, ready for the second set? I hope you are, but I am. Okay, good. All right. Ready? Feet apart, knees apart, halfway forwards, feet back as far as you can, and we're going up and forward. Ready? Go! One, slowly, two, doing well, slowly, keep your knees in line with your toes. Make sure you don't do that. That's cheating. <laughs> Three. Oh, that was too fast, sorry. Four. Let's get the torturing a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Five. Up high. Nice and slow. Bum back. Six. Good. Bum back, nice and slow. Control your knees. Don't let it give way. Seven. Good. Bum back. Nice and controlled. Eight. Good. Bum back. Bum back. Two more. 
Nine. Slowly bump back, bump back. Last one. And ten. Good. And slowly going down. Good. Second set down. One more to go. Now remember, if your knees are getting sore and you're not used to doing this exercise, that's okay. Do what you can. Don't push too hard until you can't walk later. And I don't want your knees or hips to get too sore. Even if it's five, three sets of five, six sets of five, uh, six sets. <laughs> can't speak anymore. <laughs> three sets of five is better than none. <laughs> and then each time you do this exercise again and again, you can add one or two and you slowly build it up. Don't jump from five to ten. You'll definitely feel sore, <laughs> okay? It's like a marathon runner. He doesn't do 25 Ks in one day. He has to slowly build it up as time goes by before he gets to his maximum, just like you. Okay, last set. Yay! After this, we're finished and we'll just cool down, I promise. Okay, ready? And go! One! Slow, slow. Two. Now, when you finish this class, 
I do encourage, it's not science based, this is just what I think works for most people. <laughs> Make sure you massage yourself, even if it's in the shower, you don't need lotion, just over your clothes, just massage your muscles, your quads. Does this, why did I? <laughs> don't worry about your arms, I don't think we did anything with our arms. Your quads. Your bum, your hamstrings, and your um, calves. <laughs> Ignore my silly self. Okay. Um, yes, so massage yourself so that you're not too achy the next day. It's okay if you get a bit achy the next day. It's okay, it's called muscle soreness. That's normal. Um, but if your joints get a bit too sore, that's okay. Just put some heat packs or ice packs to cool it down, calm it down. It's just probably not used to the exercises you've been doing. So next time when you do this exercise and play this video again, don't have to do 10, don't have to do 3 sets of 10, just do 5, 3 sets of 5 to begin with, and you slowly add 1 each time you do it. Just like a marathon runner, he doesn't run 40Ks in one go, he has to start with 5 and then slowly build up as time goes by. So keep watching, keep practicing uh, so you can get better and stronger. Now I look forward to seeing you in our next video and I hope you enjoyed this session. Like this or share this video with your friends and family if you would like them to get healthier as well. Okay, I'll catch you next time.